Hey everyone, guess what day it is? It's my favorite day of the week. That's right, you guessed it. Mortgage Tip Tuesday. And as always, another Tuesday, another tip with It's Your Girl Who, hashtag J Loan. And today, I'm gonna talk to you about a different type of loan. And the reason I wanna talk about this loan is because there's not enough inventory on the market right now. So either um, you have to wait or you have to go new construction and everyone's behind or you got to get into the bidding war and put um, and, and compete against cash offers or 30 to 40 other offers. And so I wanted to talk about maybe a different type of loan program that maybe at initial when you look at the home, maybe it's not the home that you desired. Maybe you wanted something that was upgraded or maybe something that looked nicer, but you love everything else about the home. You love where it is, you love the location, you love the school district for your kids, you love the actual layout of the home, um, but the home is either outdated or maybe it needs an extra bedroom or maybe it doesn't even have a garage. And, but you really want this home and you could get it for a really good um, price. So the question is, what could you do? Either you could buy this home and then you could rehab that home on your own with your own cash or ding, 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 ding. You can actually get a home loan that would actually finance in your rehab or your construction inside of the loan. So what I wanted to talk to you are about two of the most um, popular rehab loans or construction loans that we have to help you maybe buy, I hate to say the ugly house on the block, but maybe the not so pleasing um, inside of the home or maybe even outside and you want to rehab it. So I wanna to talk to you about a couple of different programs so that you know that there's other options out there for you to keep your money in the bank and use your bank's money to help you finance these. So I'm gonna share my screen really quickly. It's gonna make me small, but um, that's okay. So hopefully here shortly, you'll be able to see my screen, but I wanna to talk to you about the FHA uh, 203K loan and I actually also want to talk to you about Fannie Mae Homestyle. So those are the two that you actually see really big on my screen here. So the biggest thing to know about FHA 203K is that there's actually two type of loans. You can actually do what is called a limited and you actually can do what is called a standard. So in your limited, your, your, your maximum rehab is, is capped at $35,000, so you're, um, it cannot exceed that. As well as you cannot do structural or cosmetic, um, um, it's, it's non-structural, sorry, and you could do cosmetic stuff like paint and carpet, but non-structural means you can't fix the foundation on this loan, you can't do a new roofing, um, you can't install beams on this type of loan, but if you get a standard FHA 203K, there actually is no limit for the rehab, and you can actually rehab the whole home. You can add um, a new roof, you can do foundation beams. Um, you can't really add pools or landscaping on a 203K standard, um, but you can pretty much do anything else on that. The good thing about it is you can actually purchase a home with this loan and still only have to put 3.5% down. So on a $200,000 loan, you can put $7,000 down as your down payment um, and finance all of your rehab so you don't have to pay $40,000, dollars out of pocket or even thirty five, dollars depending on the option that you go with. Now, the biggest thing to know about 203K loans or any FHA loans, the maximum loan limit on this first line is, is limited by whatever the county max is. So you're gonna have to call a loan officer like me and you're gonna have to let us tell you what that, that limit is. And then your minimum loan amount for these loans is $50,000, which um, I think would be kind of hard to rehab a loan in this market and buy a home at the same time at 50,000. So I'm sure you'll definitely be over that. The big thing to know too is your occupancy. You have to be the owner 
and you have to live in this home as your primary residence, okay? And then units one to four, so it could be a duplex, a triplex, a fourplex. Um, as long as you live in one of the units that's still considered a primary residence that most people don't know, and you still, even on a fourplex, um, only have to put three and a half percent down. So um, that's really good to know. Um, the biggest thing about anything about rehab loans is you have to understand you'll do an appraisal at the beginning that'll give us your current value of the home. And then the appraiser is given all of the items that you're going to rehab or repair. And so they'll also give us an appraisal that gives us your after completion value. That is the value that, um, that we will use for your, for your loan. Again, too much for you to understand, but it's something that if you want to have a phone call, we can actually do that. Now, on your limited FHA 203K, you can have a maximum of three contractors. But on a standard, that's the one that allow you to do structural, um, you do have to have one GC or general contractor is required. Um, and so just keep that in mind. And, and on any of these programs, the biggest thing to know is on any construction loan, um, you cannot do self work. So even if you're a contractor um, and you do carpet or floors or painting, you cannot do any of your work on these loans. It must be outsourced. Okay. Now you'll notice on here, it says contingency reserve. Um, that is in case the rehab actually ends up costing more. And what happens sometimes on rehab is you'll get a quote and when they start digging or they break down a wall or something happens, there could be something that they didn't see. And so that's why on all of these loans, we do finance in a 15 to 20% contingency reserve. And that's just in case you need more money due to an unforeseen um, circumstance in there. Okay. If you notice on both of these, you cannot construct a pool on an FHA 203k loan. Um, that's considered a luxury item. Okay. Um, and then uh, you have six months to complete these repairs. So again, you could still be living in your apartment or with your family, purchase a home, get all of this rehab. And then when you move in in six months, you have a brand new home. Um, your minimum credit score on these is 640. Um, so not extremely high and still a great program. And then my last program I want to talk about is Homestyle. Homestyle is my favorite. And the reason why is it's conventional um, pricing as far as your loan amount. So our conventional max loan amount today is $548,250. Um, you have no minimum loan amount and you can do this home style program for an owner occupied, a second home or vacation home. And you can actually also do this as an investment property. Um, again, one to four uh, units, um, one to four as an owner occupied and then one unit vacation or investment. So it has to be a single family residence if it's a second home or an investment. Now on your purchase or your refinance, uh, you only have to have 3% equity or put 3% down, okay? If, uh, and that's on a, a primary residence. If it's a vacation home, you have to put 10% down. And if it's an investment home, you have to put your 20% down. And that'll avoid you having MI and all that other stuff, which can get pretty costly on an investment property anyway, okay? There's no minimum repair. So whether it's 5,000 or 100,000, there's no uh, minimum repairs. Again, we already talked about uh, the appraisals. And then again, your maximum number of contractors is three on this one. So if you have, um, and you can do luxury items on this. So if you're doing a pool, you can have a pool contractor. If you're doing paint, you can have a paint contractor. And let's just say you're rehabbing your kitchen. You can have a maximum of three contractors on that that we would pay. So again, you can do structural. So if you have roofing, foundation, beams, anything like that, and, and you can do cosmetic and luxury. So if you wanna do landscaping, you're building a new pool, you wanna add landscaping or palm trees like I like because I'm from Florida. Um, if you want to put those in there, then you can actually put those in there as well. Again, we do hold a contingency. Um, it does allow for construction of pools, construction of additions, foundation structural repairs. And then you also have, again, six months time to complete these repairs. Um, and they allow up to uh, four draws. But again, not something that you need to understand. We'll explain that to you later. And of course, your minimum credit score 
is uh, 680 if you're at 97% loan to value and 660 if you are at 95% loan to value, meaning you're putting 5% down. Now, of course, these are just certain ways that you can buy a home and you, oh my God, and, and you can, I'm sorry about that, <laughs> and you can um, rehab that home and make that home your special home, whether this is your first home, your second home, or your dream home. You can buy that home on the block that no one wants, and you can actually rehab it um, and get a steal of a deal on the, on the sale of that home, rehab everything you want, and probably come, uh, come in less than what you would have bought that home if that home was in perfect condition, um, that a home that was 10, 10 years uh, old or five years old, you can get you an older home, rehab it. I've seen some fantastic, um, I've seen some fantastic rehab projects and I always tell my borrowers, send me the after pictures because I wanna see what the appraisal looks like and what they did to the home. And there's some phenomenal, phenomenal contractors out there that can do a great job of rehabbing a home. So I don't wanna make this video already too long. It's already too long. But I wanted to um, show you that there are options that you have, and I would love to help you. So if you're looking at purchasing a home, can't find one, but you found a little diamond in the rough uh, on a block and you want to rehab it, give me a call. Let me help you. And of course, if you have any um, topics that you want me to go over, please inbox me. Please let me know if there's a way that I can help you. Um, as always, I want you to be happy. I want you to stay safe and I want you to be blessed. Until next Tuesday, have a fantastic rest of your week. Bye-bye.